Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks very much for joining us. Today we're taking a look at the accessibility settings or the disabled settings on the Sony Xperia X here. So a massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this device. So first of all, let's jump into it. I'll demonstrate where it is and go through the list of settings that are available to us. So what you need to do is click your main app drawer inside here, you need to go into settings. In settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's third from the bottom and it's called accessibility. So inside here, we're gonna have a list of information. So you have captions, you have magnification gestures. So if I go into magnification gestures here, toggle this on, one, two, three. So in there, and you can also pinch to zoom, one, two, three, and that will enlarge every part of the phone as well. So one, two, three, quick taps, and that will take you back. So under magnification gestures, you're gonna find a large text option. We're gonna to toggle that on here and that makes it a lot easier for me to read. So you've got high contrast text, you've got color inversion, which I can demonstrate here for you. So if we click this, it will go to black and white and we can toggle this back. We've got color correction, talk back, which I'll demonstrate shortly, accessibility shortcut. This is where you can add a shortcut onto your home screen and you can jump into these if you so wish. So you can play sound when battery is low. You can speak your password. Text to speech output. Power button on the side will end your calls for you so you don't have to actually fiddle around trying to find that touch button. You will also screen rotate which is already toggled on. Touch and hold delay and then underneath you've just got a bit more about talk back and switch access as well. So going up to the top, let me talk through talk back with you. So I'm just gonna turn this color inversion off and we're gonna jump into talk back. So you have to accept. Talk back on, accessibility tutorial. Good, keep sliding your finger around the screen until you find at least one more icon. Ringtone volume set to 100%. Okay, so what talk back will do is demonstrate here, this is a helpful guide to get started. So as you can see, we can see the different apps here and it's telling us to find one. So we're gonna go for Chrome. Also explore by swiping your finger left and right anywhere on the screen. Try quickly swiping from left to right to move to the next icon. Camera. To activate something that you've explored, tap the screen twice. Explore until you find the album icon. Then double tap anywhere on the screen to activate it. I. Okay, so we're gonna hit exit here. Exit button. Talk back. When TalkBack is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch, select and activate. So you highlight an area first of all, and then you double tap for the action. So also we can highlight the time here. 12.52. 4G phone one bar. And it will tell us our different signal. So like I said, when it comes to actually making an action happen, you have to on, switch. double tap. On. Alert, stop, talk back. Again, highlight. OK button. OK button. Double tap and then that action will come true. First of all, I want to just say to Sony, well done. They have included a majority of the disabled accessibility features on this phone and it looks really good. To me, first of all, the large text is much needed. Maybe a bigger option as well, just in case but it does make it a lot larger compared to what it was to start off with as I was struggling. The talk back is very good, very quick and works very well. This is all thanks to Android 6.0 as well, Marshmallow, because they really updated their accessibility settings in that next setup. So in Android 7, which is Nugget, I know there's a couple of new features and I will be bringing them to you when I know. If you have any issues, please leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help and if you do have any questions as well, or if you'd like to see a video on this device, please let me know. Remember to give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe for all our latest videos on the Sony Xperia X and many more new devices to come. Thanks always for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.